so market equilibrium in this video what I will be talking about is pretty much equilibrium and the first thing I want you to know is or remember is that when the price of a good rises and the quantity demanded decreases and the quantity supplied of that good increases now equilibrium the, the definition that we all should know the, the general definition is pretty much uh, opposing forces that balance each other so we have two forces that cancel each other out now in the market what equilibrium means it means that there is a price that balances the plans of both buyers and sellers and that's the definition of equilibrium in the market now equilibrium occurs yeah equilibrium occurs when the price balances the plans of buyers and sellers and the equilibrium price is the price at which the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied and the equilibrium quantity is the quantity bought and sold at the equilibrium price now there are two reasons that the market moves towards equilibrium and the first reason that is because the price regulates the buying and selling plans of buyers and sellers and uh, the second reason is the price adjusts when the plans don't match so let's say pretty much the first reason what, is to, what it means is that the sellers have a plan to sell that much and buyers have a plan to uh, buy that much but they will only buy and sell that much at a certain price they all have a limit buyers must cover their costs and or buyers must uh, meet their budget and sellers must uh, meet their costs I guess and the price adjusts when the plans don't match so they the price will move up and down until it finds a common ground in which the buying and selling plans of buyers and sellers agree with each other now these graphs here uh, that I stole from Park and Bait, uh, which is a pretty good book, is I'm going to use these graphs to explain to you the meanings of surplus and deficits. So, uh, so this first graph, the bars are selling at the energy bars. This uh, line here that I'm uh, tracing is the supply of energy bars, and we're selling at about 13 million at two dollars per bar, and this demand is. Uh, the demand curve that I'm tracing is selling at about 7 million uh, bars uh, for $2 each and the difference between them that this blue arrow is displaying is about 6 million bars now when we have supply greater than uh, greater than or when when we have the quantity supplied exceeding the quantity demanded and that is called a surplus that means that the price is uh, higher than the than equilibrium. See, our our equilibrium price is actually one fifty, but we're selling at two dollars. So in essence, we have our price is too high. And what happens when the price is too high is the quantity supplied, which I will abbreviate as uh, QS, is greater than the quantity demanded, which I'll abbreviate as QD. And uh, similarly, in this graph. Uh, what we have here is that the price is at uh, one dollar and we're selling uh, uh, the supply is about six million for uh, for a dollar and the demand for energy bar is about 50 million so that's a difference of nine million bars as shown in this box so this is when we have more demand than the supply and that occurs when the price is too low when the price is too low that is called a shortage when the price is too low, the quantity demanded is actually greater than the quantity supplied. And I shall name this, this would be called a surplus, a surplus, and this shall be called a shortage. And for the third graph, just give me a sec, I'm doing these by notes. So just gotta hold on. Now for the third graph, in, in this red point, this is the equilibrium point. This red dot or that I circled green, that is the equilibrium point. It is when the buying and selling plans of the buyers and sellers match. They all have a common ground. They agree on that common ground. And they agree that they'll buy, the, both buyers and sellers, they agree to buy and sell at a price of, uh, at a price of 150 and they'll be 
no surplus or shortage and they'll be pretty much break even and that is all I want to teach you today about uh, equilibrium and price as a regulator uh, next video will focus on price adjustments and I hope to see you